Hello Internet, I am Mihai, it is part 26. Today I will back up the current version of the code. It is a good practice to back up the application before updating it. Let's go. Open the terminal and log in into your server. For my server, I write ssh my username at the server IP. Enter. Write the password. Very good. I'm logged in, clear the terminal, go to the home folder, it is cd slash home, list the content, I have here two folders, I need the second one, node.js server, list the content again, I need to enter backup application, list the content again, I am inside it, I see two directories. I am on Linux, so I will open the same folder from the file explorer. So, create a new tab and write sftp colon slash slash username at the server IP colon port number slash home. Very good. Enter the Node.js server. Enter backend application. And here I see two folders backups and Node.js backend. Backups is empty. Node.js backend has the current code. The scope of today's video is to write a code in Jenkins to create a backup of these files and folders and store the backup in the backups folder. So, open the Node.js repository. I open it in VS Code. That is it. In the CI CD folder, there is a folder pipeline config and the file pipeline config YAML. Open it. Nice. Create the application object. Good. Here create two variables. First one is application path. And the second one is application backups path. For the application path, I need the absolute path for the running version of the code. So I enter the Node.js backend folder. I write pwd to print working directory and it is the absolute path. Copy it, paste it and do the same for application backups path. Go to the backups folder, print working directory, copy the path, paste it and save. Add the file to the stage. Write the commit message, create it, application, CI, CD, configuration. New line, backup, current version. Commit and push. I want to change the backups folder permissions, open the terminal. Go back to the backend application, clear the terminal, list the content, and here the backups folder for the group Node.js server, it has only read and execute permissions, it doesn't have write permission. Our Jenkins user will run the backupping script, so it needs write permission to the backups folder. To do it, to allow to add the permission, I should write sudo chmod7 for read, write, execute for the user, the second 7 for read, write, execute for the group, and 5 for read and execute for the rest of the users. 
write the folder name backups enter write the password check the content again and now the backups folder has read write execute permission for the group node.js server i can also check if Jenkins user is a member of node.js server write cut etc group and here is the group node.js server it has two members mihai and jenkins users it's time to write the big code open shared library repository i open it with intellij in the vars folder create a new file backup application dot groovy add it to git here create the call method it is mandatory public void call it will accept a map of attributes the default value will be an empty map create the body write the comments first one is get attributes the second comment is create backup perfect let's get the attributes i will get two strings so write final string the first attribute is source path equals the second attribute is backup directory path equals now i need to extract the values from others map the first value will be source path copy it past it in double quotes the second one is backup directory path past it in the double quotes let's create the plan for the backup our first case will be then the backup exists. The second scenario is the backup doesn't exist. I see here two scenarios and I understand I need an if else block. If else in the first scenario, when the backup exists, I need to take the entire content of Node.js backend folder and zip it. Take the zip file and put it into backups folder. Open the terminal and let's create the zip command. Write zip help. Now write zip. I want to go recursively into every directory, so I write dash "-r". I want to use the best compression, so I write dash "-9". I need to specify the path where the zip file will be created. For that, I open the VS code, copy the application backups path, open the terminal, past it, slash test1.zip and now I need to write the source path where the code is located. It is home node.js server backend application node.js backend. Copy it, paste it in the terminal, run. You see the logs, it added all the files into the zip file. Let's check if the zip file exists. Open the backups, refresh. And here is our test one zip. Open it. Here are the files and the folders. I don't want the command, this command, to show me all these lines because they are going to be very much. So I write the dash Q for quiet. Run again. It overwritten the test one zip. It was overwritten, but I want to create a new file. 
it will be zip-q-r-9 and test2.zip check it and here is test2.zip it has all the files and folders I can also check it in the terminal write ls la backups enter and here are my files they are in the red color because they are compressed. Go back to the IntelliJ. In the else block, create the sh, call the sh command, write here script, colon, double quotes, and write label, colon, double quotes, zip application. In the script, I want to pass the zip command, copy it, paste it, now remove the source and write the variable source path. It is this one from the line 3. The same thing with the backup target, remove the path and write the variable backup zip file path. The variable doesn't exist, I want to create it. It is final, gstring, backup, zip file path, equals double quotes, and in double quotes write dollar sign, copy backup directory path, past it, slash, dollar sign, backup, zip, file name. I need to create this variable final g string capital S copy the variable name past it equals double quotes and in double quotes write backup dash environment variable from the file read pipeline name it is p project name, past it, dash, again the environment variable build number, dot zip. So the variable are created, the zip file is generated, I want to write a message, echo, in double quotes, current application, was backed up in copy the variable backup zip file path past it the else block is ready i remove the line 7 i have now to create the code for the second scenario and it will be divided in two steps first one is to check if the code directory exists. The second one is check if the code directory is empty. For that I need to create a new method. It is private boolean underscore is directory empty. I will accept the path open the body, create the skeleton, it is check if directory exists, the second one check if directory is empty, so write the first if command, if, go to Jenkins, Open the folder Node.js backend up, the pipeline, pipeline syntax, search for file exists, write here path, generate pipeline script, copy it, paste it in IntelliJ, put it in the second pair of parentheses, and write the exclamation mark for not, and return true. 
It means that if the file doesn't exist, Jenkins will enter the if block and return true. So the command is directory empty will return true because the folder doesn't exist and it means it is empty. If the file exists, then Jenkins will continue and go to check if directory is empty. Let's write the variable final string list files output sh leave it empty for now and I will check for list file output. Let's prepare the command in the terminal. Open the terminal, go to the TMP folder, create an empty directory mkdir i am empty, clear the terminal, list the content, and it is the directory I am empty. I can check its content. It is empty. Nothing was returned. But if I list the content of TMP, I see here the files and folders, but that ls command skipped all the files which started with dot. To see those files, I need to write almost all. And now it listed again and included the files and folders starting with dot. Clear the terminal. List in the same way the directory I am empty. And indeed it is empty. It is the command I need for Jenkins. Copy it. Paste it in the sh script double quotes. Pass the command. Replace I am empty with path. Perfect. Write the label list directory content. Good. And return the standard output. It should be true. That is the shell command. Now, if the list command will return some files and folders, Jenkins will not enter the if block. But if the ls will return nothing, list files output will be empty and Jenkins will enter the if block. So if Jenkins enters the if block, the directory is not empty. So I have to return false. But if Jenkins skips the if block, it means the directory was empty and Jenkins should return true. Scroll up to the main if, copy the is directory empty, paste it in the main if, remove the plan, open parenthesis to call the script and pass the source path. Here, write the message that the directory was empty. Source path space is empty. Dot nothing to backup. Generate the empty mark. It is the variable final g string empty mark file name equals no backup and copy the same stuff from the line 13. Please notice I skipped dot zip because the file is going to be empty. Create the second variable g string empty mark file path equals double quotes backup directory path slash empty mark file name create the mark it is the shell script 
double quotes touch empty mark file path and the label is create no backup mark write again the message create it empty mark instead of backup comma write the empty mark file path the groovy script is ready i want to add this file to the stage this is the entire file very big congratulations you managed to write it now write the commit message create it backup application dot groovy script new line backup current version commit and push very very good I want to create the Jenkins stage open the pipeline repository this is this one open the project Jenkins files deploy up Jenkins file scroll down to the end here create a new stage it is backup current version write your favorite steps and script don't forget the timeout I copied from the previous stage and set it for five minutes in the script block I need to get the configuration and I need to back up in the configuration I need to create a map I will call it application config map equals scroll to the beginning of the file it is CICD project config map copy this variable scroll down to our stage past it open square brackets and in double quotes past the key name from the pipeline config yaml file past it create a string variable it is application path equals application config map in square brackets I copy the variable name from the line 8 and passed it in the Jenkins file the same thing I do with the application backups path copy it passed it here and here now it's time to trigger the backup open the shared library copy the file name copy it paste it in the Jenkins file open parentheses copy the source path attribute from the square brackets paste it colon application path copy it paste it comma copy now the backup directory path paste it colon application backups path very good save the file check git changes I created a new stage very very good apply write the commit message create it copy the stage name with double quotes past it space stage new line backup current version commit and push finally I will run the pipeline open Jenkins go to pipeline dashboard build with parameters branch name is main check if the server is running yes it's running for 2000 seconds and now click build
it finished. Check if the server is stopped. Yes, it is stopped. Open the logs. Scroll down. Here in the stage read project config, Jenkins printed the CICD project config map and I have the application. Scroll down to the end. Jenkins entered the backup current version. It checked if the file exists. It existed. It listed the Node.js backend content. It had some files and folders. So Jenkins ran the command zip. It is the target and it is the source. The message was current application was backup in home Node.js server backend application backups backup Node.js backend 19.zip. Cleaned the workspace pipeline status is success. In the file explorer I can check if that zip file exists. It exists. Open it. Here is the content, all the files and folders. I can also check it in the terminal. cd home node.js backup application backups list the content. It is the file. The owner is Jenkins, the group is Jenkins. Open the diagram, make the stage white. And it is all. Now Jenkins can backup the currently running code version. Thank you for watching.